taking in a special order in the edge. To take in a special order, we're gonna start in point of sale. You'll need to choose your associate and you'll need to look up the customer that you're taking the special order in for. Once you have your customer on the screen, you're gonna to go to the special order button, which will allow you to take the special order in. When you take in a new special order, you will need to put in the vendor and style number. You can type in the vendor code if you know it, or you could choose from the dropdown. The style number can be typed in or chosen off the list. And once you choose or type in your style number, if you've had that piece before, it will bring up a screen asking if you want to copy details from the previous item. If you do, you click on it and you say OK. This will fill in all of the previous information. If you haven't had this piece before, you can fill in the information without copying from the previous item. Once you choose a category, it will give you the details. You can fill in the details, and then you could fill in the information for pricing. Since mine is already there, the next thing we're going to talk about is under pricing, there is a checkbox that says price is estimated. If you're not sure of the price or you think it might be this price, you can check that box and it will just say price is estimated at the price that you put in. If you do not know the price, you can say to be determined. If you check that box, it'll say price to be determined. If you check call before starting, it'll say call before starting. You can also say do not exceed. So if you know the piece is somewhere between $24.99 and $2,800, if you choose this, it will say price is estimated $24.99, do not exceed $2,800. The need more info checkbox, if this is checked, it will come up on a list of all special orders that need info before they're ordered. If this is unchecked, it will not. Also, if this box is checked and you, you, you are using purchase orders to place your orders, it will not show up to order under purchase order because someone needs to do something before you place it on the order. Notify. How does this customer want to be notified when the piece comes in? Phone, text, or email. Every time you take in a job, it will ask you how they want to be notified. Notes. If there's any notes that you want to put on to the special order, they will print on the envelope. They will also show on the special order record. ETA, when do you expect this job to be done? When do you expect the item to come in? You can enter a number of days, and when you tab, it will fill out the date. You can also just type a date or hit the drop down to choose from the calendar. You can check the box that says ETA is estimated. That will print on the customer's receipt and on the envelope. And then you come to description. If you've had the piece before, it'll use the information that was in the system already to bring the description in. If not, you can hit suggest and it will use what you've put here. There is no stone information allowed on the intake of special order. So when you hit suggest, it would just be the basic information. If that's what you're gonna use, you can add additional details to that. The picture would have come up from the previous item. You can also take a new picture by using Acquire, and you can either take a picture of the piece in the catalog or of another piece that you have in the store. The other way that you can do this is if you hit special order intake and you were to scan a barcode, it would bring the information from that piece into the system. Once you've put your special order information in, you're gonna say, okay, save and close, and it will require your deposit. If you need to change the deposit, you can go to modify on that line, and the deposit is right under the pricing field. By default, the system will require whatever your minimum deposit is. If I try to go below that minimum, it will ask me to get an override. At this point, we'd have to pay our deposit. 
And once we finish, we hit done. And when you're finished with the special order, you will get a receipt, which is a copy for the customer and a copy for yourself. And you will get a second page with the special order claim check and your envelope that will go into the clear bag waiting for the piece to come in. And that is how you take in a special order in the edge.